Hello, les guys and gals! I'm back! Woohoo! But anyway, I am here with the 100% achievement guide for Pandati, a platformer developed by 909 Games, published by Weakfish Studio, and it's usually available for just £4.19. Now, we play as a panda, more importantly, a panda with no bodies. It's literally just a head and some legs, hilariously. But we have to guide all Pandati through some platform in hell in order to help him, well, get to the other side, I suppose. It may seem easier first, but a few levels do get annoyingly challenging, but still, even with some annoyance, I did get this game done in less than 20 minutes, so hopefully you shouldn't have much of an issue if I tell you what to do if you get stuck. Now, achievements-wise, all simple pimple, complete 10 levels, and another shiny 1k is yours. So, as I said, 20 to 30 minutes, depending on deaths, etc., is all it takes. So, with that being said then, let us begin. So, let us begin by doing level 1. Now, the first couple of levels are very easy. You're going to press the double A button here to do a double jump. So, press the A button twice, do a couple of double jumps, get over to the monkey boy, and that'll be the first level complete. Um, in terms of buttons, it is as easy as just jumping. But, of course, we're going to have to avoid platforms and spikes and all types of crud skis. So, for now, we're just going to jump up. Jump up on the next platform. If you weren't quick enough, you are going to have to wait for a bus. Waiting for a bus like an old lady. Not, I'm not saying that just old ladies wait for buses, by the way. Everyone uh, waits for a bus. But anyway, there's the monkey on the other side. Again, another easy level. This is another easy level. You cannot hit the enemies or anything like that, so jump over the turtles. I almost got my ass bitten, which is uh, <laughs> not in a good way either. Avoid the spikes, of course. Just wait until they go <laughs> preferably down and then jump up. You can just jump straight down here. Um, on those uh, little platformy things. Wait for the platform here to come across, and of course, just jump over the spikes. One, and I did go a little bit early there, but got away with it, and that is the third level complete. Now, for some reason, level four, this is the one that I personally struggled with the most. Um, I'm not sure why, but hopefully it'll be a bit easier for you. So anyway, what we can do, with the bees there, again, you can't touch the enemy, so just wait until the first bee goes down to the platform and then jump, and then you can easily just jump over. Jump straight down now, Jump over and then do a little double jump. So you'll have to jump as you go in and then jump over the platforms. Jump over the spikes. Wait until the very left platform starts coming up and then jump. And then you can just walk to the right, avoiding the spikes or the saw. Jump over to the turtles and then just jump over to the other side. Of course, depending on if you were quick or slower, the turtles and, and saw and everything can be in a different place. Um, so just obviously be careful, be a bit aware. Alright, this is the first boss then. Very, very easy. What we're going to do, we're going to jump down here. And all he's going to do is basically walk. He's a happy little fellow, but all turtleneck, we're going to need to kill him. So you see the sort of switch above. What you need to do, by the switch that we are by now, as soon as it's above, hit the switch and that will hit the old uh, turtleneck dude. So all you got to do is just keep waiting until the mechanism above is above the turtle. And uh, that's all you got to do. Um, we're going to have to do this a total of... I believe four times. Again, just be... I mean, not being careful, he doesn't actually attack you. Um, but you can easily... You can easily miss the mechanism and then it just takes a little bit longer to complete. So, you know, just be just be careful. You don't want to be playing this game any more times than you have to. There we go then. Four times it does. Jump up and that is level five complete. So, on to level 6 or First of all, we're going to jump up. You're going to need to do a little double jump here. Uh, the spring doesn't actually get you all the way up, so you're going to need to do go on the spring and then do a jump up. Drop down, try and get down straight down. Right, you need to put the head on the block. So you need to do double jumps here and go across to the other side, obviously. Um, what you need to do then uh, is just wait for the sword to start going to the right. Then you need to jump up to the platform on the left. Don't worry if you don't get it straight away like I didn't just do. Now, don't hit the uh, spikes right there. You can actually wait for the sword to go by and then jump across and to the left. Now go to the right. Um, oof, almost got away with that, but jump to the right. As soon as the sword comes up, now you can just jump straight down and immediately go to the right. That will be level 6 complete. Now, a lot of people said they had difficulties with this level. Me, personally, uh, it wasn't too bad. I uh, just need to do a, get a bit of timing right here with the saws. It's a case of wherever the saw is, you can just jump either over or under. Anyway, come up to the left here. We need to push this block down. You need to now push it onto the switch. Again, just do the whole timing thing here. Just make sure to not die, of course. 
Right, this bit uh, can be a little bit tricky, but all you got to do is just wait. Wait until the um, one on the ground is going to the left, and then you can just jump over them. With this bit, make sure to jump. As soon as the platforms go away, just do a little jump and then go across. Do a little jump, go across, drop down, push the block slightly to the left, and that's it. That's the end of the level. So, again, a lot of people seem to struggle with it. Uh, I didn't find it awfully too bad, but that is level 7 done. So level 8, what we're going to do is um, get the first three switches. Go to the left here so that we can push this next block. We're going to push this block down and then push it all the way to the right. And then we can just jump up. I thought there was a way that you could open the presents, but sadly we are presentless. Hit the switch, drop down and grab another cube and start pushing that to the right. We're going to push it down. Now, the easiest way to do this, there's going to be something that's going to be attacking us. There it is, the little ball thing. And the squirrel's nuts. <laughs> to stop throwing nuts in my face. Easiest way to do this is just wait underneath the platform until the squirrel sticks his nuts down here. And again, obviously just be aware of the thing, uh, the um, spiky ball coming at us. But the easiest way, like I said, to do that is just wait underneath the platform so you don't get hit in the face with a pair of nuts. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just a case of jumping up here and finishing level 8. So, level 9, this is our first, last sort of level that we're going to do before the next boss one. you got to just watch out for the frogs. As soon as they um, sort of stop moving, you can just drop down. Of course, you know, just avoiding all of the jumping. As soon as the sword's going to the side, drop straight down into the middle. Hopefully you get that first time. You need to hit a switch on the roof right here. Again, watch out for the squirrel and the frogs. And then just jump up again, avoiding these spinny saws. And then as soon as you can, and again, it's just a little bit of time in here. Jump up to the left, jump up to the right, jump up to the left. And that's level 9 done. So, level 10, last boss that we got to do in order to get the full completion. And again, it is very easy. So, the frog's going to stick his tongue out with you. As soon as you do that, you need to jump up. He's going to hit the spikes and then move immediately to the right. Do the same thing. As soon as he hits the spikes, jump up and immediately go to the left. And this is all we're going to be doing then to kill the frog. The spikes are going to keep killing him. And then that's it. So as soon as you hit the spikes, jump up and start moving to the left. Go to the left ones. As soon as you hit the spikes, jump up, start moving to the right. And that will be the end of Pandati. Almost. It does take a few hits to go down, minus broski brosk. Budweiser, <laughs> not today, broski. Right, there we go then. That is it. That's all 10 levels complete. Again, I did make it look easy, but that was after a few frustrating attempts. But there we go then, guys and gals. So that is Pandacne done. That is another 1,000 out of 1,000. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game. I hope the guide helped as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Absolute legends. And again, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Ba 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 ba. Big left.